Monday morning. I think this week's job is uh, probably going to focus on building uh, a strip freshener. Uh, I'm just going to pick up the parts in Exeter this morning. Uh, I'll take you along on the journey this week doing that. I'm gonna, it's going to be kind of a cut up week as uh, Sandy's birthday is tomorrow. And we both decided that it would probably be wise if we uh, actually took a day off and celebrated her birthday. So we're going to do that uh, tomorrow and then Wednesday I think we're uh, going to start building a strip freshener with a friend of mine. Uh, he's got six units, I have six. And we're going to put one together on my old planter frame. And uh, shipped a load of beans this morning, some IPs still. And then uh, we're going to ship another load probably half load uh, the this afternoon after lunch so anyways just gonna head to town and grab some uh, strip fresheners I uh, just finished loading up the strip fresheners uh, and leaving Delta here uh, and we're pretty lucky uh, where we are to have uh, a case dealer and a John Deere dealer side by side um, just give you a quick snapshot. That's my old strip till rig. My Dawn Pluribus 12 roll with the Montag cart. That's what I used for a couple years. Um, just not looking to use it anymore. I had to do some strip till with a shank because we had some compaction issues. But, uh, anyways, just gonna head home here uh, and get these unloaded. Tell me what to do Show me how to feel Under your control Everything is real So hit me Well, it's uh, strip freshener day. I think uh, we'll start at this here shortly, putting the Yetta roll units on. And uh, seeing how this works out, um, we got, as I said, six units of mine and six units of our friends we're putting on there. So he's coming here shortly and we're going to pick away at getting that done. Like a lot of things around here, <laughs> nothing goes as planned. Uh, Try to get this first strip uh, freshener unit on the toolbar and I started doing some math on the bar. And basically the issue we have is that... Um, I'll show you a second. This base plate here that bolts onto the frame here on the seven inch toolbar uh, is narrower than the planter and as such uh, the planter frame stuff has some issues in terms of getting the stuff to line up without having some obstacles in the way on the frame. Uh, one example here is on the outside of the planter frame, the last row unit. The U-bolts will actually have to kind of fit in the space here and this is going to be in the way and this chunk of the, uh, the uh, marker is going to be in the way as well. So that's not going to work. Um, another one here right beside it. Uh, one of the U-bolts actually needs to kind of go in this area here where these plates are and that is another obstacle. Uh, do, 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 do. Two are good in a row there. The next one is right here where the tank is kind of in the way because of these U-bolts here because uh, that has to be flush. So uh, I think if we just move it it's fine. So what we did already was move with the forklift, I'll show you. We just lifted up the tank a little bit, take the weight off it, and we just moved it. So what we did here was take the plate that was kind of inside a little bit here, and we moved it um, out here. Now we're not holding much of that frame, but um, I think once we get everything mounted, we can see if we can beef that up a little bit. Uh, but for right now, it's gonna work. And we'll be able to get a roll unit in there. So as a result, um, we need uh, four plates made up. So what the plan is to do here is to get some plates fabricated that match this bolt pattern here. And then also have a bolt pattern 
for the U-bolts where the planter used to be on the frame. And then what we'll do is bolt the plate to those uh, Yetter strip fresheners and then we'll use the existing pattern that the planter units were using on the frame and we'll be able to use the U-bolts and it, it won't cause us problems. So, Well, uh, new day. Uh, going to pick away more at this strip freshener. We're hoping to have the plates made up that we need to do these last uh, six row units. But we got six on yesterday off uh, my friend's old bar, or well, I shouldn't say old bar, but off his six row bar, um, swung them in here on the row unit um, where we could without needing plates. So we got those six on. We're going to work on getting row cleaners mounted up here on the front. Uh, just like this one over here. So we're gonna do that. We actually have some precision planting air cylinders clean sweeps that are, we're mounting on it as well uh, to run uh, clean sweep on the roll cleaners so that we can adjust it on the go. Uh, tried to get some footage yesterday of uh, putting these ones on. I tried to do a time lapse and I didn't like how it worked out. Realized I screwed up my settings on my GoPro so uh, I think I got figured out so I'm gonna try to do a, a time lapse maybe today if we're putting roll units on so I think right now I'm just gonna dig out my roll units out of the box uh, in the back shed bring them in the shop here so they're ready to go whenever we can put them on and uh, we'll pick away at that so hit me So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With you, it's like an infection. I've been infected with an obsession. With you, never any tension. Nothing but love and affection. Enough of my case, so let's cut to the chase. Listen up, cause these are the directions. directions. Obey what I say, don't go. So got the roll cleaner on here. Um, takes a bit of, it's not too bad. Uh, just gotta get kind of this, uh, level with the strip freshener unit uh it's not too bad most uh, everything lines up really well and then uh just got to put these roll cleaners on here um they kind of have a special notched hole here so that when you tighten it uh it doesn't spin the bolt uh, as you tighten the nut and then uh, there's these shields here that have to go in i forgot to put them and on that side you can see that there's no there's no shields on that one so I'll get those put in on that one but uh, this is where the row uh, clean sweep row cleaner cylinder goes so it pins up there and then it pins in a hole right down in here and then uh, it will be able to adjust it on the go so I'm just gonna pick away at getting the rest of these other four on, get the shield on that one, uh, two wheels, and uh, we'll go from there. Plain, I don't want to hear questions. Follow my lead, time to fall to your knees. It's an order, it's not a suggestion. I'm about to teach you a lesson. I recommend you pay attention. This is my kingdom, you're stripped of all freedom. You want nothing but my possession. Good morning, Friday morning. Uh, hopefully, gonna wrap up the strip till rig uh, today we'll see how it goes i think we got everything kind of painted up i'll show you in a second uh, the plates uh, so we'll swing the other six units on uh, do the air cylinders and the airlines get the row cleaners on those six and uh, that would kind of wrap it up for the most part the controller for the uh, air cylinder for the uh, row cleaners is going to be in on monday so we can test it then uh, but overall I think we'll have 99% of it complete today. So as you can see here, uh, just ran some of the hose for the airlines for the cylinders. Uh, I'll give you a view here. Uh, basically kind of went down the side of the unit here, uh, down to the row cleaner. Um, we just wanted to make sure that when it goes up and down uh, the row unit here, uh, there's enough slack and uh, there's some travel in the hose. And the same with the row cleaner down here where as it goes up and down there's some slack and we wanted to make sure that it wouldn't get 
uh, caught into the wheels at all. So overall that went pretty good. Uh, as I said, uh, these are the plates we got made up. Uh, we got them painted yesterday, so they're all nice and dry, ready to go on this morning. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, because these plates, uh, we're going to have to bolt the units on, uh, on the bar. The bolts for those uh, Yetter strip fresheners, uh, they're going to be pretty tight to the bar because this plate's going to be bolted to them. And as a result, we had to do was shave off a bit of the bolt head so that when we put it down on the toolbar, uh, it's nice and flush with the, the bar itself. Uh, so we shouldn't run into any issues mounting those uh, plates on the Yetter strip fresheners and then mounting that uh, plate onto the seven uh, inch bar on the planter. So should be good. Shut eyes wide, baby, I'm yours. Baby, I'm yours Whatever you say, go Nobody needs to know Whatever you say, go I'm under your control Well, we pretty much got the strip freshener finished up. Got all the roll units on, got all the airlines run for the cylinders. Uh, for the row cleaners and uh, got some lines run up to the front for the uh, controller. Uh, just missing six pins for the front uh, on uh, a couple of row units here for the air cylinders. Get that Monday as well but uh, overall pretty happy with how it turned out. The plates uh, that we got made up did an awesome job getting on uh, the row units that uh, had a these obstructions in place so you know here's a, a plate that we put on and then bolted the strip freshener too so uh, it all worked out really well uh, happy with how it turned out and uh, celebrated with a couple of bush lattes and uh, gonna call it a week here Friday afternoon and uh, We'll probably end up doing some work tomorrow. Uh, got a whole bunch of other jobs on the go, but uh, it's nice to kind of have this wrapped up and done and uh, out of the shop. So uh, I think what that means is the air seeder's going in for next week and we'll try to do uh, some new blades on, uh, on the air seeder. Kind of uh, excited to see how this is gonna work in the spring. And like my planner, we'll probably have some videos uh, on this running and, and show you how it works out. So that wraps up this week uh, with the project we had going on and uh, just want to wish everyone a fantastic weekend uh, and we'll see what next week brings. Uh, lots of work still to do here getting prepped for spring. Lay on the table, cause this is about to get painful. Open up.